Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. So today, we have some exclusive reports for you. Before we tell you about Roshan Patterson, do you remember a story we carried about Nicaldo Smith? If you look on your screen, that is the only photograph we have gotten of him so far. Nicaldo was 40 years old and he was popularly known as Toronto. Toronto is originally from Racetrack in the parish of Clarendon, but he was staying at Namprel Road and at a cottage in Negril in the parish of Westmoreland. Well, last week, Saturday morning, October 15th, 2022, about some minutes after 12 midnight, Toronto, he was shot and killed by hoodlums right across from Roots Bamboo in Negril in the parish of Westmoreland. So, let me see if you were paying attention. We're in Clarendon. Did I told you that Toronto is from? Yes, man, he's from Racetrack in Clarendon. So in recent times, do you remember me telling you about anybody else who is from Racetrack in Clarendon? Yes, man. Look on your screen. That little piece of... Well, I've been told that my adjectives have been turning off some people. But trust me, I refuse from calling that a man. So, that raper fish on your screen, he's from Racetrack in Clarendon. As it turns out, Toronto is the younger brother of that raper fish. They share the same mother. Now, we are getting two theories as to why Toronto was killed. One is that Toronto, he was involved in criminal activities in Negril. And the second theory is that his killing was a case of mistaken identity. That theory is saying that it was really his brother Marlon that the killer wanted. But Clarendon people, Clarendon people, that name Marlon is strange to honor, not true? Because his correct name and the name that you all know him by is Duane Millis. In fact, in the parish of Clarendon, Uno call him Dudu Wayne, not true? Yeah, man. And he's called Dudu Wayne because of his love for where Dudu come from. So, Westmoreland Police. Westmoreland Police, Uno need to do some more digging. There is a reason why he's now using that name, Marlon, and not Duane. Now, since I released the story about Marlon, um, my apologies. Since I released the story about Dudu Wayne, I have been contacted by at least four different females who Dudu Wayne has either violated or made advances to. And I am talking about females from the parishes of Westmoreland, Manchester, and Clarendon. Now, I'm going to let you listen to a voice note that Dudu Wayne had sent to a lady who he was stalking. I'm playing this voice note so you can hear for yourself exactly how Dudu Wayne sounds. Listen to this. See, that's when you guys jump to conclusion and just crazy stupid. The 174 days is the 174 days of time that I had left to finish a course to get a certificate and I said I refuse to give any more meat and meat means me means money E energy A attention T time so I'm not even gonna bother explain what that conversation was about but you hear how Dodo Wayne sound he's not done so at all and he spoke very eloquent ladies and may I talk about ladies who do do Wayne has violated and mothers of young girls who he has violated. It is up to you to keep him in jail. You need to contact the police if he was the person and let them know that he is the person. Don't leave anything to chance. If you do, he might get bail again. You best believe that and he might go end up violating more 12-year-old 
babies. You were lucky he did not take your life, but it is not far-fetched to think that he has killed already and will kill again. You best believe that. Do what you must to protect others and talking about protecting others. Have you seen that IG post that is being circulated? It says, Tell police, stop searching for me and stop using my pics. <laughs> the question is, what could have caused this guy to feel so emboldened to make this statement? I'm going to tell you why, but let me clear up something. His name is not Roshan. His correct name is Roshan Armand Pattison. If you look on your screen, that is a copy of his driver's license. He was born on February 2, 1989, making him 33 years old. For some past students of Rossi's High School and persons living in and around Lucy in the parish of Anova, you will remember this. Roshan, he used to be in a relationship with a teacher who was the Dean of Discipline at the Rossi's High School in Anova. On Wednesday, March 9, 2013, Roshan, who is also a past student of the Rossi's High School, he went to the school and he had a brief conversation with the Dean of Discipline, who I told you he was in a relationship with. It is alleged that he then pulled out a Cuban machete out of his waist and he used this machete to chop her in her head, inflicting a serious wound to it. And this was done in front of students and other teachers at the school. Roshan then made good his escape from the school. Now, I'm not sure whether or not Roshan was ever charged for that attack, but he certainly was never ever sent to prison for it. In late March 2013, Roshan was picked up by the police in Kingston and he was charged for the offenses of abduction, rape and murder. This was committed in Kingston and it was committed about a month before Roshan allegedly attacked the teacher at Rossi's. That case that Roshan was charged for, it came to an end in November 2017. Look on your screen. That was the article published in the Gleaner. Read with me. 28-year-old Roshan Pattison of Lucy Hanover has been freed of murder, rape and abduction. Pattison was freed in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court after the judge upheld a no-case submission by attorney at law. You wild man that Pattison's constitutional rights was being breached. Wildman argued that his client was innocent of the charges. He also said the case had been dragging on since 2013 and the prosecution was not ready. Patterson was accused of using a motor car to mow down a woman who died from her injuries shortly after. She had jumped from the car on Cargill Avenue in St. Andrew after reportedly being abducted on Maxville Avenue in February 2013. The woman, who was allegedly assaulted and her throat slashed, managed to escape from the motor car and made a report to the police. Pattison was picked up some weeks later at a bus stop at Halfway Tree in St. Andrew while on his way to enroll as a student at a university. Wildman said Patterson maintained his innocence and contended that he was never in possession of a motor car and the case against him was fabricated. Patterson was pointed out on an identification parade, but Wildman said that the man reported that his photograph was taken while in police custody. So you hear that? You heard that? So fast forward to May 10. 2010. There was this article in the Jamaica Observer and when I saw that article, I was wondering about this release by the police. Look at your screen. The article is titled, 
police seek assistance in locating wanted man who absconded bail. The article says, Detectives assigned to the Major Investigations Division are seeking the public's assistance in locating a wanted man who has absconded bail. 33-year-old Roshan Patterson, whose last address is Harvey River in Lucianova, was being tried for murder, rape and attempted murder, but absconded the bail he was granted by the court. The article goes on to say, Patterson is scheduled to appear before the St. Andrew Parish Court on Tuesday, May 31. So that is the part I did not understand because if what is called a bench warrant was issued for Roshan by the judge, there would not be a court date unless the warrant was stayed until May 31. That means the warrant was never issued it was stayed anyhow Roshan he was staying to Kingston and immediately thereafter Roshan was back on the street in fact a female she was very surprised to have seen him a few days later buying gas at that gas station if you look on your screen that is Roshan's car take a closer look are you seeing what I'm seeing? Now, I have gotten several messages from females who claim that Roshan's modus operandi is that he gets sexually involved with unsuspecting females and take money from them. He then threatened to kill or even violate them when they try to get back the money from him. I have been contacted by females who claim that Roshan have violated them and when I ask them, if they have reported it, the resounding answer is no. When I asked them why they didn't go to the authorities so that Roshan could be taken off the street, some of the reasons they gave are 1. They don't want to go back through the trauma of having to give a statement to the police and then give evidence in court. 2. They are ashamed that they have allowed themselves to be taken advantage of this way. 3. They are not confident that justice will be served because Roshan, he keeps getting away. And 4. They are saying that he has serious links in the criminal underworld and they are scared. So by now, you would have heard that the police, they have named Roshan as a person of interest in connection with the death of Anita Townsend popularly known as Slickyana. In fact, we are reliably informed that a witness came forward and told the police that Thursday night, that witness saw Roshan and Slickyana at a popular restaurant in Montego Bay. So the question is, where is Roshan? Is Roshan still in Jamaica? Now, we are getting unconfirmed reports that Roshan is now in the United States of America. We are told that he landed in Georgia yesterday morning, Saturday, October 22. We are also learning that, well, look on your screen. We are learning that that phone number on your screen is the one that Roshan uses when he's in the United States of America. Roshan is active on Instagram, but he also uses that handle on Facebook Messenger. Yeah, man. That's the handle that he uses on Facebook Messenger. Unruly Rush Jackson. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Popeye News, News Link and PNL Blog TV. TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick Silver Sin. Jamaica, criminals, them a mash up Jamaica. Jamaica, 
go me warm me country back Give me me country back Cry with a mash up Jamaica Give me not say my mash up Jamaica Jamaica's mash up Jamaica Oh Jamaica, me sweet Jamaica Cry with a mash up Jamaica Give me not say my mash up Jamaica Jamaica's mash up Jamaica Oh Jamaica, me sweet Jamaica Jamaica, Jamaica, the land of the sun Jamaica, we come now, the land of the gun East and North and South, when we turn Country and town, man, I pay a blood of Murder, don't you be a me here, them a murder Cut it out, tell them